hormones are like children. They can't be unattended at any time. So it's a very small <laughs> amount of cortisol that's actually active and binding to receptors and creating that circadian rhythm. So I'm like, well, where's the rest of it? And that tells a story as well. Like, what's the metabolized cortisol doing? That paints a picture. What's the cortisone pattern doing? That's the inactive, kind of dead in the water form of cortisol. Is the body preferring to deactivate to cortisone? So somebody may have a low diurnal cortisol and you're thinking immediately as a provider, oh my gosh, they don't make any cortisol. No wonder they're so tired. I need to pump them up. I need to pump their HPA axis up. I need to give them all the stimulatory stuff come to find out they're actually deactivating. They're just deactivating a cortisone. So they make it fine, but the body's like, throw the e-brake, we're not doing this, we're gonna deactivate. And that's a completely different way of treatment. And so by gathering all this extra information on that page of the Dutch test, you can make truly a much more personalized precision decision around what you're gonna do for them.